Hello everybody, I am John King, and um, this is my last play of Liberal Crime Squad. Uh, I'm new to this game, I have almost no idea how to play it, and I just hope I don't get the squad killed as soon as we start. Um, I will be taking suggestions of what I should do at the end of each video. So, if you get, um, from YouTubers saying tail wolders or like, so, feel free to do that if you want me to do something. Um, I will not put in a slogan unless if, um, well, the slogan will be cited by tail wolders. I'm sorry, um, people who have never heard of tail wolders, but, um, it just makes it easier on me since tail wolders is a form and it has poles on it, so I can easily decide easierly decide what to put as a slogan. Um so anyways these are my past games. We'll do um I'm a, I know I'm a newbie but I'm I'm just gonna go if we didn't start the fire. Um actually no because that sounds pretty bad for me. So we're just gonna do a classic. Um no compromise classic and we will be Adrian White, I guess. I, um, you can choose your name, your last name, your um, sex, and your history. Um, I'm gonna go with a random history just to see what happens. The day I was born in 1984, the Sandinista Front was won won the election in Nicaragua. When I was bad, my parents grounded me and hid my toys, but I knew where they put them. In elementary school, I was mischievous and was always up to something. When I turned ten, my my my, my parents divorced. My mom slept with a divorce lawyer. In junior high school, I was obsessed with swords and started lifting weights. Things were really getting bad when I was sent to religious counseling, just stressing it me out more. Well, I knew I it had reached a crescendo when my mom my stepmom shot her ex-husband, my dad, with a shotgun. She got off. I was only 15 when I ran away, and I got a horrible job working fast food, smiling as people fed the man. Life went on. On my 18th birthday, I got my hands on an old beetle. It's still in great shape. For the past few years, I've been writing my, my manifesto and finding my image. I'm ready to lead. I live in Albany, New York, and it's about to experience real change. Um, that actually doesn't sound too bad of a beginning. Um, you can read, you can pause that and read it if you want. I'm just gonna skip ahead. What is will be my name be to the people? Hmm. Well, um, let's see. <sighs> um, actually, that'll be me. Now, if some of my followers do good, I'll name them after tail that I that I know, like um, Tiberius Decimus Maximus and um, um, Burgess and P.O.P. People like that. Like, I know. Anyway, so let's see our skills. We got sword two, shotgun two, writing two, business two, psychology. That's nice. I can use them to interrogate people. Psychology is used for interrogating people, and um, I think that's it. Law one. So if I train up law, I might be able to just like not even need a lawyer. I could just you know, if if I get caught anyways. Um, I'm not gonna be using him a lot except for the beginning of the game because. I don't want him caught. I don't want him with a criminal record or anything. He's it's um it's gonna be more like um uh, he's like he's bet he's like the leader of an organization type of thing I guess. I cause I mean most of my what my other games I've played with this game um I sent the leader into combat and stuff and that usually did not work out at all. Anyways, so security is one. Uh, yeah. This guy's foreign religion. Damn it! He he doesn't have um. What is it? Persuasion. Yeah, that's right. So, what I'm going to do is this: go to A and press A again, and we're here. And A again. Legal fundraising. 
Now, I like Taylor's, and but I also like um, street music because that is some good money. But for now, I'm just going to sell dyed, tie-dyed t-shirts. So, let's wait a few days. Daily Child's Play. A t-shirt in a, a t-shirt in a store is, is found scrawled with a message from a sweatshop worker. Oh, that's sad. Anyways, yeah, we'll be freeing sweatshop workers a lot for just for workers. I mean, they can sell t-shirts and make us equipment and stuff when they got, and, and they can even make us stuff like um police uniforms, which is awesome. Anyways, let's get our money up. Once we get to the 200, I'll make him play music on the street, and that'll give us some good money. Because once I get 200, I can buy a guitar. Ah, oh, shit, rent. <laughs> yeah, you have to hate rent, but I mean, if I press F and D, I can get there. Um, it gives me a good secrecy, so that's good. Like, 50 is pretty good. And only, like, a 100 a month, that's pretty good also, so. We just might stick here. Regan Flawed, a, bu a new book for um, documenting the other side of Regan. People don't like Regan. Alright, we're gonna have to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, there are all four of the conservative laws and against the um, liberal laws. Well, apparently he wants to liberal, I guess. I don't know what that means, really. I, I think, like, when the president's Walter Crean name comes up there, that means, like, he agrees with it, and... I don't know what dead in Congress means. That might mean, like, um... He doesn't want it, or something. I'm not sure. I'm not very sure at all of this game. Uh, so, yeah, we have to get the money back up. Uh, that should be good, and I can still pay rent. Alright, so we're going to the commercial district and to the pawn and gun shop. Uh, buy liberal tools, and we will buy a guitar. Activate legal fundraising and play street music. Aw, oh, man, we're gonna get kicked out. Yeah, we're in the homeless shelter now. Oh, and right when we get to the homeless shelter, he starts getting money. Of course. <laughs> Just my luck. Anyways, we're gonna get lots of money. We're gonna need it for recruiting and dating and such. And, yeah. Another Supreme Court. Um. Well, they want us. Whoa. Um. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it's either two against us or two with us. Anyways. Oh, press L. Um, this is like the rights and laws and stuff like that. Um, these are the rights and laws. As you can see, they're pretty conservative right now. These are the Supreme Court leaders. Um, so far, they're pretty conservative. I mean,. Yeah, the prairie actually um arch conservative. Little bar right there to tell you what each color means. Um Walter Queen yeah, pretty much everybody in there's uh like in the house it's pretty much conservatives and in the Senate it's pretty much conservatives. And these guys in the White House are all conservatives, so that's gonna be tough. Um this just tells you uh, what each law does. I'll let you pause it there and read, and I'll let you pause it there and read. Or you can, if you're faster, you can read it right now. But anyways, um, we got thousand dollars, thousand hundred and eleven. So go for. We're gonna go to the uh, actually no, we're gonna go to the university district. We're gonna go to the. Let's try the vegan co-op thing. A hippie? I don't want hippies, so they won't fight, I think. Or they don't have much fighting skills. A mathematician? I'm big with accounts. <laughs> I just find it funny, like, when they went do the, um, pickup lines, it's all just like that, really. 
Um, let's try to get a college student. Oh, well, screw you too. <laughs> Wait, did I just try to pick up another male? Yeah, I'm not sure if I meant to do that. <laughs> Hippies, a sculptor, and don't say anything. Uh, I might have to get. Ooh, musicians. Alright, let's try you. Mm. Oh, nice. Got one musician with us. He'll be good for, um, playing music. Spend $50 on props. Share John King shares the reality TV episode on the lives of immigrants. Morgan Alley found John King's views to be insightful. They'll definitely meet again tomorrow. He feels something needs to be done. Sh John King shares a collection of, stu of studios on uh, studies, not studios, on the health effects of marijuana. Morgan Alley found John King's views to be insightful. We'll definitely meet tomorrow. And he is now ready to fight for the liberal. So I offer him to join, and he accepts. Um, we're going to keep him with us. So now, like, you notice he's on this. Well, yeah. Go to A. I'm not sure if I should be doing tutorial this one. I'm just new to it at all. But, anyways. So he's with us now. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. I have a bug. He's going to be the driver and he's going to be the passenger. Alright. Vehicles are pretty good because they won't be wounded if they're, they're if they're in the transport. They won't get sl they won't slow us down if we're like in a firefight and we're driving away. Otherwise, I mean they'll just be in the car. They'll be wounded, but they'll be in the car. So who cares? Let's see what he's got. He's got music in the highs, security nice, and driving. He's he's gonna be a professional car thief and also music player. So. Besides, my music isn't that high. I'll let him be the hippie that's playing guitar. So, A2. So yeah, he's playing guitar. So, now that we got him, let's activate Ribble. Yeah, Ribbles. <laughs> Selling music and five stealing cars. He's gonna steal a car. Um, He's going to try and steal a sports car. Nice, an empty 2006 sports car. Purchase side door. Pick. He jimmies it open. Oh crap! Nice, he stole the car and it was nice. So he's going. To, so instead of the the bug, we're gonna be driving the sports car. I'm not sure what it means when it's stolen. But maybe it costs less, or it's like you sell it for less, or um. You get detected easier by the police. I don't know, but oh yeah, that's right. We have to sell the bug. So yeah, we're gonna go to the Jake's Updike's used cars. Sell the black bug. Actually, we can buy a car. Actually, instead of, of like using this car because it might be just um not very good for us, we're gonna. We're gonna t put. It, we're gonna pawn it. So, back to the used car shop and sell it. All right. So, let's do legal fundraising and play music. We're gonna wait until we get ten thousand and buy the sports car. Well, I don't know. We could get a fan because I mean that could that t like really should allow more people, but. Oh, looks like it's 9-11, except in July 16th, 2009. This world is weird. <laughs> Anyways, oil crunch. OPEC cuts oil production sharply in response to U.S. foreign policy decision. So I guess that means we're out of oil. Street music is high. Oh, I gotta go. It's, um, the time limit. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching, and see you later. Bye.